in Boston, a city renowned for its historical significance and cultural diversity, the ethno-culinary experience unfolds as a vibrant exploration of the intricate connections between ethnicity, culture, and the world of cuisine. Within this dynamic urban landscape, the term ethno-culinary extends beyond the simple act of eating. It encapsulates a captivating journey through the diverse traditions, flavors, and narratives interwoven into Boston's culinary tapestry. Chinatown in Boston offers a diverse array of regional Chinese cuisines ranging from Sichuan, Cantonese, Hunan to Dim Sum, reflecting the rich culinary heritage of China. Our first restaurant was located in Boston's vibrant Chinatown. The Dumpling House stands as a culinary gem, renowned for its delectable offerings. This bustling eatery embodies the heart of Chinese cuisine, tantalizing taste buds with an array of sumptuous dumplings. A hub of flavors and tradition, it invites patrons into an immersive culinary experience. Uh, <笑>就是请稍微介绍一下你这个餐馆的 然后我想问一下，你为什么要给这个餐馆起名叫“脏饼”？主要的就是做这个，我们特别推做的就是做这个脏饼，然后做白菜。因为。我们这个家这个餐馆有好几个好几个那个摊儿然后我们先开的有两家了然后这个开始就整个就唐人街刚开始的时候没有没没有那个这种餐馆就这类型的所以我们才做然后我想问一下您就是呃您这个餐馆就是以后就是有什么样子就是嗯就是您这个餐馆以后有什么这个计划就是有没有什么想过什么呃比如说更新一下你的这个菜品啊或者说还是什么更新菜品我们经常都在增加一些新菜现在就是有跟以前有什么区别吗有一点点但是一般的都是我
，大家就是说，本来在唐人街才有我们这类枪房嘛，现在在。昆西啊，在 Austin 啊，这些地方都有这这类型的。所以竞争越来越大了。竞争很大，现在竞争越来越大了，就这样。是。The north end of Boston is a historically rich and culturally vibrant neighborhood known for its Italian American community and strong sense of identity. The ethno-culinary life in the North End is deeply rooted in Italian traditions, with a focus on family, community, and of course, delicious food. The North End is renowned for its authentic Italian cuisine. The neighborhood is dotted with numerous Italian restaurants, bakeries, and markets that showcase traditional recipes passed down through generations. Pasta, seafood, olive oil, and wine are sample ingredients in North End kitchens. As our group sought to investigate North End's culinary experience, we decided to go to the restaurant called Trattoria Il Panino, and we tasted its brilliant food and conducted an interview with managers and chefs of the restaurant. <laughs> so all good? Yeah. So, okay. Hello. Can you uh, can you please introduce yourself? Hey, myself is Antonio. Antonio is the manager of Trattoria uh, Panino. And uh, how long have you been managing this restaurant? Well, I was one of the first one years ago. Twenty-five years. Uh, but uh, just coming back now is not six months anymore. That's very. Good. Okay, so uh, throughout the 25 years in the, in the restaurant, uh, how have you seen the change in Boston? How 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 is Italian food, especially here in North End, important? This uh, our cuisine is uh, the same from 25 years until now. Is the same. We have a lot of good uh, people come here. Besides the actor and. Uh, Tom Cruise. Yeah, it was a very cool day, which is one of our best. And uh, yeah. you always try to like keep the original. Oh yeah, yeah. That is our uh, our secret. We have a cook. They work. Uh, we have a chef. They work with us for a long time. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, in the future, uh, what do you hope from Tatrolia? Do you hope it? it we do the future in the north end. Like if you see now, we yeah. open up another restaurant. You hope to expand uh, yeah, even yeah. more. No, we have like six, seven restaurants. Six, seven restaurants, restaurants for yeah, territorial yeah. Well, wow. that's very nice. And uh, I think that's it for today. Thank you for your time. Okay. Thank you so much. In sum, even the immigrants now do not have the same taste as before. Restaurants still trying to keep the old menu and tradition foods. And the competition between restaurants became harder. Instead of staying in one place, they started to open into new area like Quincy Market. We think that having a competition is a kind of good thing because it helps people trying different kinds of food from different area. And thanks for your listening. Thank you very much.